If you've had no luck finding yourself some Eclipse glasses that are safe for direct viewing, there's a few other options you can use for indirect viewing. This includes my absolute favorite, the Saltine Cracker Eclipse Box. You might have heard of the old cereal box viewer. NASA has a great video demonstrating how it works and how to make one. You'll find a link to that in the description. But essentially, when a small pinhole is placed on top of a box, it'll project a copy of the sun on whatever surface falls behind it. This includes all phases of the eclipse, meaning you can indirectly and more importantly, safely view the entire event without putting your eyes into harm's way. But why bother with just a single projection when you can have 13 or more? We've put a spin on the old cereal box viewer with the help of a simple saltine cracker. Here's how to make one. First, go into your pantry and grab those saltine crackers that have been collecting dust. Get a small but long box that's nice and sturdy and place a cracker right on top of the closed lid. Trace around it with a marker and carefully cut out the square shape you made with a box cutter or scissors. You want to make sure you cut from the inside of the line so that the cracker can easily rest on top. Now get yourself some tape that'll block out as much light as possible. Silver duct tape should work just fine. Line the edges of the cracker on all sides to get it to stay in place and also block out any gaps along the edges. Bear with me here, we're almost done. On the bottom of your box, cut out a small window on the side. Make sure it's large enough that you and others will be able to easily look inside and see the sun's projection. You can also paste some white paper on the bottom if your box isn't white on the inside already. Now when the eclipse begins, you can take your cracker box outside. Face away from the sun and hold the box so that the saltine cracker is in the direct line of sight of the sun. Depending on how many holes in your cracker, you'll get several mini projections of the sun's exact phase when the eclipse begins. 13 is better than 1, right? This will allow you to safely hack together an eclipse viewer and also give the kids a fun project. But if saltine crackers aren't your thing, here's a simple way to make a viewer with just a basic Pringles can. Pop the top on your Pringles and empty the delicious chips into a bag for safekeeping. Now grab a paper towel and clean out all the grease and chip bits from inside of the can. You don't want anything to obscure the projection. Once that's done, take the plastic lid and trace around it with a marker onto a piece of printer paper. Cut it out carefully and then add some glue to the inside of the lid. Just place the paper inside and your projection screen is ready. Next, take your Pringles can and poke a single hole in the top of the aluminum using a thumbtack. You don't need to move it around or make the hole bigger. Just pop it in and pop it out. At the bottom of the can, cut out a small viewing window just like we did with the cracker box. Make sure not to cut it too large as you want to make sure the lid will be able to snap on and stay put. Secure it into place and take your Pringles viewer outside. Just like the saltine viewer, face away from the sun and hold the top hole in the direct path of the sunlight. You'll see a small projection of the sun at the bottom of your can, giving you a simple way to enjoy the eclipse even without those ever-elusive glasses that are sold out everywhere. If you found this useful, please share it with your friends and family so that everyone can safely enjoy this amazing event. Remember, the only time it's safe to look at the sun without proper eye protection is during the phase of totality. If you're not in an area with full totality, then keep those glasses on or use one of the methods we just covered. Happy eclipsing, and we'll see you next time.